Hi guys, welcome to episode four of our survival let's play. Today we're starting off at our new build and I really like the way this one turned out with the light gradient on the tower. I think it just looks really nice. But we are not going there today. We are going in this little makeshift cave that has uh, not a lot in here. <laughs> Um, but it does have our minecart system for the mines. So, I did some mining in between episodes just to try to get some diamonds. And we were able to get some. But they're not here. Where are they? I think they're still down in the mines. So, I dug out our mines a little bit. We're going to have two main channels and then have little branch mines going off of the main channels. And also down this way just a little bit, there is a geode, or at least there used to be one, but we cleaned it all out. And now we're gonna be able to have a nice little amethyst mine if we ever want to build with amethyst. But like I said, while I was working down here, I did come across some diamonds and there they are. So we have 24 diamond ore and I just thought it would be fun to break them on camera and see how much we can get with the Fortune 3 pickaxe. Okay, 24 diamond ores. Let's see how many we can get here. We got 56 diamonds from 24 ores. I'd say that's pretty good. With that, I think we can make a full set of diamond armor. Pretty sure. Oh yeah, easy. And now we can finally take off this crappy gold armor. Now that we have that out of the way, it's time we finally raid that bastion. I promised you guys that I was gonna do it this episode and so we're gonna get it over with because <laughs> I'm a little nervous that we're gonna die. Oh. I forgot I'm not wearing any gold, but that's okay. We're just gonna kill everybody. Okay, I switched over to Optifine so I could switch off the fog. And this is the first time I'm getting a look at everything here without the fog. I'm hoping that this bastion is the stable kind because I think that's the one with the magma, magma slime. Um, spawners. So, hopefully, <gasps> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I almost just lost it all. I can't even believe I survived that. I thought I was going to die. Holy crap. Always watch where you're going in the nether. <laughs> Holy crap. Okay, I've collected myself a little bit and <laughs> built a nice little bridge, so that's not going to happen again. And I think the way to go is up. I'm actually going to go out a couple blocks first before I keep going up. Because I'm a little nervous there's going to be pigs on the top. I hear some. I hear piggy boys, but I don't see piggy boys. Oh, yes. I think this is, that's um the stables kind, right? Okay, here's our first couple chests. <gasps> okay, go to golden apple. That's always good. You know, I didn't bring an axe because I wasn't thinking about chests, but I was also trying to bring as little stuff as possible because I figured that I might die. 
and I don't want to have all my good stuff on me when that happens. Okay, I think right below us is the bridge to get into the main area. So maybe let's just try to... <gasps> oh my gosh, he almost just like pushed me into the lava. That is not very nice. Where is everybody? I'm so confused why there's no piggy boys here. Like there's no brutes or anything. Just gonna block myself off here. Okay, I don't think that the magma guys can get me because they're too big. I don't think anybody else can get to me. This might be a big mistake, but... Oh my gosh, we got an enchanted golden apple. <gasps> That's like one of the rarest items in the game, I think. Oh my gosh, these guys really want to get me though. Okay, I did see one more chest over here on this side. And then I think we've pressed our luck enough <laughs> for one day. <gasps> Soul Speed 3, oh that's awesome. I don't really see any more chests right... Oh. That was a regular, that was a zombie piglin I think. Well, I don't see any more regular chests or anything like that, so I think what I'm going to do is get the heck out of here, and we can fully explore this place once we're more kitted out. I can't believe we got out of there without even one encounter with a piggy boy. Oof, maybe bastions aren't as scary as I thought they were. <laughs> Back at home, safe and sound. <laughs> That was a little too exciting for me. I don't particularly enjoy near-death experiences. So I'm going to take some time and relax a little bit, doing something where I will most likely not die, and transform all of the sand on this island to grass so that we can start putting up some farms and make this place look a little bit more lived in. This island is starting to look way better. I love seeing all the grass instead of sand. And it's got me feeling really inspired. I noticed that the turtles like hanging out on this little beach. So I did leave a little patch of sand. And once we move this sugarcane farm, I am going to make a little turtle sanctuary here. Over here, I actually raised the terrain up a few blocks because I thought it would be nice to just change the structure of the island a little bit and build a retaining wall over here. But another thing I was thinking of since we have this nice flat area now is that this would be perfect for some farmland. It would be cool to build a windmill, which is where this outline is going to be. And since it's hanging over into the water, it would be so cool to build some sort of structure under here where you can drive your boat in and then come up to the land. And it's a little bit hidden. I think it would be so cool. So now that I've done a lot of this landscaping, I'd really like to try out this windmill idea before we get some farmlands in.
We have arrived on a suitable design for the windmill, and it was quite the journey to get here. As I'm sure you'll see in the time lapse, we had a couple different designs and eventually ended up going with this one. So in this design, I kind of thought, you know, when the fairies or whoever lives on this island came here, there was a big boulder with some mushrooms growing out on top of it, and they were like, hey, let's make a windmill. So when they got here, they installed some braces and whatnot to keep the boulder in place and keep the mushroom from like toppling over or something, who knows. On the inside, I did a functional interior. Well, not fully functional, but in the real world, it would have been functional. Maybe I'm dumb, but I didn't actually put two and two together that windmills used to be used for milling grain. I mean, it makes sense saying it out loud, but <laughs> in my head, I never put it together. When I was growing up, windmills that we had were purely decorative. They didn't have an interior like this, but in the medieval days, they would use the wind to power these giant gears that would grind up their wheat and stuff. So I kind of tried to build something like that. There's a gear up here that when the wind moves, it turns these gears that come down here and turns these gears. And then the wheat or whatever is in here, which gets ground up and spit out here. I did make an actual Minecraft purpose for this build though. I moved our composter into here and hit it with some trap doors. So since we're going to be doing our, oh, it's night. As I was saying, since our crop fields are gonna be out here whenever we want to harvest them and make some bone meal, we can just bring it in here and pop it in this chest. For example, I have a bunch of potatoes here and they will funnel through and turn into bone meal down here. And under a couple of these trap doors, we have our basement area, which is just somewhere we can use to come in and out on our boat. And then we can use the ladder to get up to the mainland and nobody will ever know. Now we can bring this whole area together by putting in some fields and building up this retaining wall so it's not just dropping off into water. We have some fields ready to go with some retaining walls around them and we've hoed all the dirt so all we have to do now is plant the seeds. This one will be beetroot but I only have a couple of those so I guess it'll take a little bit for these guys to grow. <laughs> While I'm planting these fields I just want to take a quick moment to thank everybody for subscribing and watching my videos and showing so much support lately. I really appreciate it. At the time of recording, I think I have 62 subscribers, which is insane. I never thought that I would even have that many. And even though it doesn't seem like a lot, it's a lot to me, so thank you. And if you're new to my channel and you like these videos and you're not subscribed already, <laughs> consider subscribing and maybe we can even hit 100 subscribers. That would be insane. Okay, we have everything planted. It's not a full field yet, but we'll get there. And now that we have these fields in place, we can finally take down this starter potato field <laughs> that I had from the very beginning. Now that I've had some time to recover from our Bastion adventures, 
I think I'm ready to go out and maybe finally hatch some tadpoles and bring some frogs home here. After all, this is a fairy island, and what would a fairy island be without frogs? So we need a regular biome, which we're in. We can put these guys anywhere. And then we need a cold biome and a hot biome. So I'm just gonna take one of these creeper holes that we accidentally made. And we're gonna drop our little guys in here, two of them. And now we'll just wait for them to hatch. Okay, I just looked it up and it takes about 20 minutes for them to spawn. Uh, so I'm gonna go do the other variants because then I can do some resource collecting and stuff while I wait for them to spawn. You may have noticed that my trusty steed has not been around. He's, uh, he's not in his little home. And that's because I died a while ago in a lush cave and I never went and got my horse back. So let's head back and get him and then he can help us get to where we need to go. Okay, I'm pretty sure that he's somewhere right around here. Right here? Uh-oh. Oh no. If he's not around here, then I'm not so sure I know where he is. Well, unfortunately for me, it appears that our horse has escaped. I've looked all over for him and I do not see him anywhere. But the good news is I'm pretty sure, yeah, this is technically Savannah, which I'm pretty sure is hot. And if we just make a little puddle right here, we'll get a hot frog. So I think I'm probably just going to sit here and farm up maybe some acacia trees or some dark oak trees until these guys hatch. Okay, I've spent a couple days and, oh, yes. Okay, perfect, this is the right frog. You guys can just chill there and I'm gonna try to find a place nearby here that is cold. Okay, I just swam across the ocean and ran into some glaciers, so that should be certainly cold enough for some cold frogs, I would say. And once these guys hatch, then we can bring them all home. Uh-oh. Oh no. Oh, oh no. Oh. Okay, there's one. Where's the other one? I've been swimming around for a little bit here because they both should have grown up around the same time, but I don't see any other frogs swimming around here, so I think we just are stuck with the one frog, but that's okay. We can always come back and get some more. So let's at least get this little froggy home and pick up our other two frogs on the way. Oh my gosh, yay, we found our horse. Oh, that's awesome. Let's get you out, little guy. Oh, I thought we lost you forever. But for some reason we had him over here. I mean, it's kind of close to the swamp, but I don't know. The good news is we found him. So let's bring him back home with our froggies. Here I am, I am back to bring you guys home with me. We're gonna get you situated in a nice comfy cave until I get your forever home set up in the nether where you can have yummy magma cubes all day long. This area is really coming together now that all the crops are in. It's starting to look really nice. I'd still like to add some more greenery around here, maybe a couple giant mushrooms and some trees, just to tie it all in together. But for now, I think that will do it for today's episode. We had quite a few adventures today, 
So I think with that, I'm gonna go to bed. <laughs> if you enjoyed, please consider subscribing, liking the video, leaving a comment, any or all of it, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye!